Daddy's in the building, broadcasting live from oh so many parts unknown. Joining me as always on the sticks, he's that bad dad of cod. You might know him as Muscle V. You might know him as your king of cod, but we know him as Dixie. Yo, yo. And our associate producer and head of sales, uh, the scariest Jew in Jewville, Boo Radley. Boo Yakasha. And our executive producer, the man that shirts have forgotten. He is the pants man. Don't call it a comeback. <laughs> and put down your bee hose because joining us once again, Jose, welcome. Woo. <laughs> And you can feel free to ask me anything, for I am your King of Cod, I am Jeeves, and I welcome you to another edition of Call of Daddy 2. We're back, the NFL's back, season three, Call of Daddy 2 is live. But before we can pass around the pigskin and talk about football, Muscle V, why don't you remind us what happened last time? Last time on Cod Daddies, our heroes were deep in battle, and since it was so long ago, nobody remembers what happened. But can, Especially you. But I can guarantee you that Jeeves was still terrible. Uh, <laughs> oh. As we left off I last do. time, you may remember it was tied 10 10 in terms of kills between Muscle V and Jeeves. And guess what? It's still 10 10. All right. So let's I listen in. I could have told you that we actually started. <laughs> yeah, so let's listen in as our heroes continue on to their next adventure. Oh, holy. Guys, we are back. We have so much to cover. We have a lot to do tonight. Holy hell. I hope you're all excited. Uh, I didn't mention this at the top of the show. We've slid tonight. We're doing a drink along episode. Uh, normally we do that on Wednesdays, but uh, someone has to bowl or some shit. We'll check in with that later. Uh, so tonight we are doing a drink along episode. Uh, Boo, since you've joined us again, can you lay out the rules for tonight? All righty, boys and girls and everything in between. Let's go over the rules. If somebody gets a kill, then you drink. If mm. nobody gets a kill, then you drink. Mm. If, somebody, if somebody says the wrong name, then you drink. Mm. If, if Curtis tries to be funny at any point and drink, fails, drink, you drink. <laughs> oh, drink. Oh, I just, <laughs> it's I'll try to be funny and fails, then you drink. If somebody talks for too long and makes no sense, then you drink. 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 <laughs> if, <laughs> if, um, if, if somebody says a funny joke, aka Boo Radley, and nobody and uh, nobody laughs, then everybody drinks. <laughs> well, uh, I'm gonna get drunk tonight. Absolute <laughs> insanity. Uh, Thank you, Boo. We're going to check in with you, see where you've been in a little bit. I uh, appreciate you laying out the rules for us. We'll probably create a couple other ones throughout the night. But more importantly, uh, we have to check in with Jose. We Wait, haven't do, seen... Do we have a Toastmaster? Do we have a Toastmaster tonight? We'll get to that, too, in a second. Uh, it's going to be you, so prepare it. Fair um, enough. But anyway, Jose... Uh, First of all, welcome back. I assume it's a huge honor. Uh, before we get to anything else, do you have anything you'd like to plug? An honor and a privilege. <laughs> so do, do you have any shows you got plug in or anything that you want us to check out? Yes, sure. Be sure to check out Crazy Rich Asians. Oh, no, okay. no, no, okay. sorry. No, no, it's Bling Empire. <laughs> uh, I mean, okay, is it the Crazy same show or a different show? Don't check out Crazy Rich Asians. Check out Bling Empire. Yeah. Is that right? You don't want to soft debut the show that you were just pitching to us? Yes. I would like to pitch. No. I would like to introduce a new show. A show about friends reminiscing, living their glory days, but more importantly, watching the journey of Boo Radley. Throwing I'm a man. From season to season, from day to day, from date to date, from lady to lady. Oh, Ooh. I'm intrigued. Will he or wouldn't he? Will she or wouldn't she? Join us he won't. to hear more about the adventure <laughs> of Boo, Boo Radley 
and hopefully someone. <laughs> Can I say I think that's, at I one think point when name, she right? said, yeah, definitely. Um, but at one point when she was like, uh, um, lady to lady or man to man, or whatever she said, I know, it's exciting like, for a second. Man, to man, it's, it's, to man, day, to man. Day, day to day and day to day, it was nice. I don't know. Oh, man. At one point, it made it sound like I was transitioning to a woman. I don't know. You, one point, but I, that might be a good strategy for you. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Will you relax? Do, do not give away season four. That's right. <laughs> keeps, our, keeps our subscribers, our listeners, hooked. Yes. They don't know what it's about. Is it a transition piece? It is, a, is it a romantic piece? Is it just people just shit talking to each other? They don't know. That's the beauty of it. Is it it's just a, people talking logistics? Who knows? Oh, what time do you it, eat dinner? These are important questions. <laughs> you can stop off at listener. You have to say listeners. Listener. Yeah. No, we have listeners. Oh my we god, have, we have we have listeners. We have a following. We have we a will. following. That's correct. No, we we already have one. I've we had so many questions for the off season. I, I can't wait to address them all. I've already oh, thought about the merch. Um, I already know what the merch is going to look like. So do what what is do you have a proposed title for this because i obviously our listenership is in they've missed boo they've been clamoring for him love in maryland i think we have to drink for that yeah drink for that because it's a terrible name i think that's why we have to drink to it. no other well, and the giving away personal information bit um no, it's just a horrible name oh, that's right. love in maryland <laughs> It's a huge state. <laughs> no, it isn't. That's true, but still. That it's the was shape all... of a drunk person driving or drawing oh, or driving. Exactly. The audience doesn't need to know that. You don't need to give away all the details. Of no. what Maryland looks like? No, that no, Maryland is not actually a big state. You don't need to tell them that. <laughs> how, about, how about mature love? No, 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 no. No, incorrect. It looks like it's elderly people dating, <laughs> which fits. I'm in. <laughs> I mean, if you're asking about what time you eat dinner, these are the things that they would want to know. What about, what about, what about? Are we, are we getting the early bird special? Are we not? I've got a title. Uh, boo, tea, love. Oh. oh. Getting that boo tea? Oh, no, like better. It. Boo tea call. How about that? Boo tea call. There you go. Yes. Not, not, not a... Uh, Boo Radley is Radley. Oh my God! What that doesn't it make sense? Yeah, drink it. What is a Radley? Yeah, yeah let's all drink for that. Whatever that was. Welcome back. How about, how about, how about Boo Radley rattles women? <laughs> I don't know why I thought that was so funny. Because it was. It was that right. much much better than whatever the fuck you said. Uh, <laughs> now is that uh, a, so, okay, a booty this... call if you're texting somebody you found your mouth? What? Four hundred and eighty. Four hundred and eighty miles away. Good question. I think it's. I mean, it depends. As long as the person shows up, it's a booty call. A booty <laughs> call is a booty call, no matter how far. If the booty shows up, however you are, or whatever. Okay, it's not a Doctor Seuss podcast. Just to be clear, <laughs> I've read so so much Doctor Seuss since I saw you guest last. <laughs> <laughs> And is that uh, because you have a child or because you're still learning? Oh, I thought it was for, I thought it was for his brother. I, I, um, I check in with Dr. Seuss from time to time just so I can learn new words, you know. The racist ones, too? Include, of course, the racist ones. Those, those are the cheapest That's ones on the bookshelf. <laughs> I, I'm in for a discount. Uh, so actually, so uh, Jose, I wanted to check in. So I got some questions in, in our time off. A lot of people thought that maybe there was this theory that you and Boo were the same person because we've never seen you guys in a call together. So obviously <laughs> you've dissuaded that, but do you want to address the haters um, before we go any further? Haters go, hey, Boo, Radley, and I might be the same people from <laughs> different <laughs> mothers. I thought you were going to say like time timelines or something. I was thinking... <laughs> I was about to say generation, but then I was like, no, I'm going to be dating myself. But no, that's you Brad. That's, that's what Boo Radley does. 
take a take a big drink for everything you're saying right now you are correct though uh you guys are from different generations i think that's fair to say correct i'm still in my teens and boo radley has made you past this piece you better not be in your teens or boo will try to send you a text about what you're doing for dinner i was um a real funny story do you remember this day huh me and you i'm sorry drink <laughs> I don't have a feeling I know exactly what story is about to be said. We're going to be yeah, so it's, drunk it's a funny one. It's, it's a funny one. And it's about, uh, so Jose and right, I wait, once, wait, wait, before we start, any, anytime Boo says it's a funny one and then tells a story, the chances of it being actually funny is 50-50, right? Less than that. More than 35-65. But um, uh, one time, uh, Jose and I were incredibly drunk and we were walking back and we were having a very weird conversation on what we believed love was or something weird like that and I had a really bad cell phone and Ryan I was so, god damn it I'm <laughs> <laughs> and, and Jeeves I was about to call you Duckman uh, Jeeves um, heard the whole entire conversation had like a 10 minute uh, long voicemail on his phone oh that's right yes I remember that Oh, I hope I still have it. From the bars to, to, to if I still have it, I will I will upload it to the feed. Just so that you all can hear these two in their drunkest of forms. Can, oh can we... Wow, jeez. Wow. I don't I don't think I have it, so it'll be alright. What? I don't even who left the voicemail to who? Uh I assume I assume Boo left it to me. Yeah. I don't th I don't even think I have your number now, so I, th I think it has to be Boo. <laughs> My, my, phone, my phone was really bad at the time. Uh, this it's, was pre iPhone. It still is. This was this. Um, do you still have the stupid ass ringback call? Oh my gosh! No, no, no. no I, I think you do. do, 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 do. <laughs> oh my god! Please I enjoy this rising ringback tone while your party waits. <laughs> while you get transported back to the mid aughts. <laughs> It's even more embarrassing because when I decided to go to, to the university I went to, I know we don't say that anymore, uh, where we went. Never um, have. I, We've never Because it's defunct. It. I bought the alma mater as my ringback tone. So when that expired like a year later, it just gave me the Verizon one. Which right. was like some classical song. Yes. All right. Well, anyway, uh, it's Jose, welcome back to the, the show. We appreciate you coming on for a second time. We haven't seen you since our Boo episode. That's uh, right. We'll, we'll catch fine. up with you again in a second. Because, Boo, we got to figure out where you've been. We've seen you almost, uh, you've been gone almost as long as Jose has. What's What's been right. happening? Where have you been? So Even, though, even was... though you're an actual part of the show and Jose was a guest one time, you guys have been gone almost the same amount of time. <laughs> yes. So... So, uh, yeah, right. So, unfortunately, I was in a Russian jail with Brittany Griner. Okay. Um, go, yeah, go on. I, was, I was able to get out because I didn't shut the fuck up. So, they just started to get rid of me because I was annoying them all. So, I'm sorry. You were in a Russian jail. Why were you in a Russian jail? I was with Brittany Griner. Uh, we got in I trouble don't... together. What? How did you guys get in trouble? How did the two of you get arrested? You and Brittany Griner. Okay, yeah. WNBA so superstar Brittany Griner yeah. and your regular ass self. What happened? Yeah, great. So I'm actually the general manager of her Russian basketball team. Um, yeah, and, and so so me and her okay. had, Go had on. some hashish. We had some hashish oil together, and we both got arrested for it. So she, she was famous, she so. trying to relax because the pressures of I guess the Russian league that I didn't know she was in. Why? Yeah. Why? Why were you smoking the hashish? Oh, as because you know, manager? it's it's not easy being general manager of a women's Russian basketball team. I you know, I disagree. It, I've never done it. I'm pretty sure it's very easy. It, it's you know I make it look easy because I make everything look easy except for getting girls. Um, but everything else I make look so easy. <laughs> Why did you walk uh, into an echo chamber? Well, it's, it's back in the Russian gulag, I assume. I also no, love that you uh you were. You were uh, trapped with uh, Brittany Griner, uh, but that only explains like one or two months of your disappearance. Like, I feel like you were gone way before that happened. Like eight <laughs> months. Yeah, I agree. I, Brittany Griner just, that's just started showing up, I think, the last 
six months. So where have you? Where were you seven months ago? She's we we were we got in jail in February. We got in jail. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. Perfect. Some people went. But I chose to say we got in jail. This was like a, like a horrible, horrible 2010s comedy movie. We got in jail. <laughs> uh, thanks, Boo. All right. Yeah. Uh, Pants, do you want to catch the viewership up with why we've been off the air? It's been about two months since we last broadcast. Do you want to, do you want to share with everyone what we've been doing? Yeah, it's been quite uh, a weird two months. So uh, as the viewers know, we have had a long standing feud with one Mr. Elon Musk, who has been sending his minions and his his little uh, uh, things to, to shut us down, to interfere with us, to, to I'm sorry, stop. I'm sorry, what do, what do you mean his little things? You know, his his little guys, his little guys. He's got little guys. Is, does he have little people? Is that what you're saying? He employs a, an army of them. Good for and, him. Actually. That's great. You know, that, That's a, yeah. A win. So, so he's he, he's been trying to shut us down. He's been exploiting our our vast tech weaknesses. And um, what we have vast weaknesses. Every time, every time I learn of a uh, an exploitable fault in any of our systems, I email it to uh, Russia and to um, Elon. Uh, <laughs> Elon. I thought Musk they were tech at, at Twitterowner.com. I thought they were I thought they were tech support, but apparently not. Um, so anyway, yeah. So oh, uh, how many how many exploits have you found? Because this is oh, interesting. Hundreds of of tens, hundreds of tens of them. <laughs> All right. And Perfect. and basically, uh, you know, we just kept coming back. Right. He, he, he shuts us down. We were seemingly invincible. So, you know what they yes. say? If you can't beat them pretend to buy them. So he made an offer. Uh, he offered to buy us out for $44 billion. And which you'll remember is only about 10% more than that muscle V offer we got uh, yeah. about a year ago. So in this case, you know, we thought, you know, this guy's good for it. And you know, he's a trustworthy fella. So <laughs> we went ahead and, and uh, he is and good so for it. <laughs> Those are two different statements. <laughs> so we went ahead and signed the contract, which it turns out, well, I like signed the contract. Booms. Um, and, uh, you know, I learned later that was that was not a contract in our favor that I signed. Um, Should have read it, in fairness. He told me what it said, and then I just believed it uh, and signed my name uh, and forged yours. And right. um, so we were kind of in limbo there because uh, he immediately, once he got what he wanted, which was me signing away that we were going to go off the air, he was going to pay us nothing. It was a whole ordeal. So we basically uh, were, were taken off the air forcibly by the legal maneuverings of one Mr. Elon Musk. Um, why are we back? Because we annoyed him until he just kind of let us go back to it. So there you are. So we used the boost strategy to get out, like, get out of jail. We actually just had Boo text him, what What are you doing for dinner about every day? And that was- <laughs> well, no, actually, no, uh, let me correct you there. He did not text, what are you doing for dinner? He would just text, what when are you, you doing text? dinner? <laughs> <laughs> you know, more interested in the when than the what. Oh, yeah. Well, good good work, Boo. Thank you for getting us out of Elon Musk hell. Uh, hopefully, hopefully Musk buys Twitter and then, I don't know, falls down a well. And I hope he's medically fine, but cannot operate enough to shut us down anymore. He can fuck off. Can we all agree to that? So stipulated. <laughs> I was hoping for like a hurrah. Oh, oh right. I'm sorry. Uno, dos, trace, hurrah! Oh, oh, yeah, I thought you were going to do that with me on the trace, but... Well, we sure, assumed we're... you... <laughs> what was that, Bill? I said we're hurrah. <laughs> okay, Boo. The generation gap. Um, we did get a chat message. Uh, Pants oh Man, no! That's your job. Oh dear! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh oh, we're in trouble. Uh, Daddy Elon four two zero six nine. Oh no! Everyone, be quiet. <laughs> says, <laughs> "Why would I shut you down when I watch?" And our contract had an NDA, which again that assumes I read the contract, Elon. 
or that we know what an NDA is, you idiot. Thank you for asking a question, though, Daddy Elon. Uh, did he have numbers after that, or was it just Daddy Elon? It was so many numbers. It was um, 42069. Also, is an is NDA, is that one of them sports leagues? Yeah. yeah. Okay. But not I used to play. Bowl. I used to play in the NDA. No, you didn't. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you, Daddy Elon. Bunch of numbers. We hope you can check in without us throughout the night and appreciate that you're watching over us live like a classic overlord would do. Uh, anyway, it is a drink long episode, though. We've told you the rules. We've broken many of them already. Jose, let's start with you. What are you drinking with us tonight? What did you bring to the party? I'm drinking Oregon's finest Pinot Noir. Ooh. Ooh, so fancy. I don't know if you just made up that brand, but it's very fancy sounding. The yeah. finest the entire state has to offer? The finest the, the entire state has to offer. The finest Sam's Club has to offer for a small oh price. My goodness. And 99 Wow. That's that is, a steal. That's very fine for Pinot, as far as I'm aware. Uh, and yeah, with the inflation, I mean, that's a great price. I mean, seriously. Yeah, it's, I think a $3 bottle of wine. What, uh, this is the first wine we've had on the show, so I think. So that's exciting. Glad I could bring a classy touch to it. You We're always do. Wine, Jose. You, oh, uh, no, we, because we banned it after our, the, the precursor oh. to the show was wine night. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh. We should do that. Yeah, we'll talk about it for future episodes. Anyway, Boo, since you've rejoined the show, what, what are you drinking tonight? Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm drinking a, a beer. It is a okay. Southern Tier Two Times Citrus Fruitified Double IPA. All right. Normally, I wouldn't go next, but I'm also drinking a Southern Tier. Uh, I'm, wow. it. I'm drinking the Warlock, which is, of course, the pumpkin pump mixed with some other shit. It's excellent. Love Southern Tier. Big fan. Yeah. Never heard Southern, of it. You've never heard of Southern, Southern Tier? tier? No. Southern Tier, if you're, if you're listening, we'll take some sponsorships. We will absolutely take some sponsorship. Until then, ST, you've been great. Uh, Jose, you should have absolutely heard of them. I think they're national. They're definitely, for you, former regional. Huh. I'm going to have to Google it. Okay. Highly, have, highly you, have you ever heard of Pumpkin? I feel like Pumpkin um, is like the, the main pumpkin flavored beer that exists yeah i agree never heard of it jose do you drink pumpkin do you drink pumpkin beer the last time i had pumpkin beer was the sam adams pumpkin ale and i threw up Ooh. Uh, i don't think those two statements are related it's not like it's a super high powered beer well it's disgusting the disgust well, uh, oh you, you threw up because it was gross it was gross oh that's interesting well, I'd like to just chime in here real quick to say that our old pal Flying High has commented Southern Tier A. Hey. Is he Canadian? Uh, I mean, drink wise, he is. Okay. Flying High, we'll, we will absolutely <laughs> catch up with you in a, in a while. Uh, <laughs> what You threw up, did you throw up because it was gross or did you throw up because you had too much? I would like to actually know that. Gross. The grossness. The grossness. It's a very so, like, what was the order of events here? You you take a sip of this beer, decide it tastes gross, and immediately vomit? Or like what how did you how did your body react? Do you also was... do you like do you like pumpkin beer? I, this is it because it's a very mild flavor. One and beer. done for me. One and done for me. No more pumpkin beer. Oh, this is your first pumpkin beer ever? I well, I, I don't, I mean, maybe I had it in college, but there's a lot that I had in college that I don't remember. So it's really hard to tell what's first. We, we I mean, we were pretty broke in college. It wasn't like yeah, we were we experimenting were with fancy beers. With, yeah, I, I think. Yeah, we were the, uh, the Natty, the PBR, no, the yeah. PB, no, the, yeah. is it the PBR? Which one is it? It's the PB&J. It was, <laughs> it was whatever people were offering. So, yeah. yeah well, it didn't matter. It didn't matter. Right. Yingling. This... Yeah, that's what that was a big one. Well well, you mentioned Yingling. I, I wanna I wanna chime in now and talk about what I'm drinking because it happens to be Yingling. I Ooh. uh 
I went home <laughs> to where I'm from not too long ago. And the Yingling Factory. Yes, that's where I'm from. Uh, I was left there. Um, and there was a, a big party in my family, and so it involved a lot of beer, and some of it was left over, and I took the Yingling home with me, and I thought, gosh, I'll have one of those. And then I tasted it, stone cold sober. It was the first drink I drank tonight. And good Lord, that does not hold up. So I, um, I put it back in the fridge. It opened. was just a, a yingling lager? Just a lager, yeah. It was just regular beer. Just a regular <laughs> beer. It was gross. Um, it so I put it back up. in the fridge. <laughs> just didn't taste good. Just tasted bad. It just tasted not good. Okay. And so I put it back in the fridge, opened. Uh, grabbed the higher class Oktoberfest beer that I've been drinking. Sure. Uh, have one of them. Uh, now, with that in my system, a little bit of that, you know, alcohol edge, I return to the angling. Tastes fine. <laughs> that hey. is the trick. That you don't is you don't start probably... with the angling. Apparently, you, you end with one. Jose, when when he drank a Oktoberfest, did you throw up? Like, Ooh, no good. I did. Do you just have to carry a bucket everywhere you go? And he, in the fall, in the fall, that's all I got to do. But I, here's the I'm thing. I'm with you. I'm with you. But here's the thing. There are other beers, beers outside of Oktoberfest. Or I pumpkin. believe you're right. What what are they? What are you what are you uh, talking about? Bud. Bud, that's your next it's, it's those three, uh-huh. those are the three. What's what's Oregon's finest lager? What are we dealing with? Oh, it must be something, you know, like riot inducing. Who knows? Hard to I tell. Love that idea. I would absolutely drink riot inducing beer, whatever it's called, whatever type it yeah, is. I'm in. You know, oh my gosh. And, and you know my, the riots. You know what my cousin brought to that party where people would bring alcohol? She brought oh, a hard mountain none of us dew. Know that. What? What's a hard That's mountain dew? That's apparently a thing. It's like That's an alcoholic mountain dew. It's not good. She brought them, specific, she was like, I was curious to try them, so I bought it. They're awful. Please drink them. That's what she said. What? This, just that is really too? interesting. So what, what yeah, is it, is it a six pack? Like, how do you purchase this? It item? was like a mixed pack. There were different flavors. I don't really remember specifically what the flavors were. Oh, but no. I know, I know that I, I tried two of them. Uh, the first one was more of like a code reddish flavor and it was oh, way it was, too it was, sweet. Wait, it's multiple Mountain Dews? Oh no. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, the oh, first one no. was kind of like a code red, but a little alcoholic and very kind. I mean, I guess I've never really had a lot of Mountain Dew, so I don't really have a great comparison for the soda, but it just seemed way more artificially sweet. Um, and then the other one was, I think more traditional Mountain Dew um, but it was just, it just tasted off. It just tasted, it was drinkable. Like I could taste, I could, I could sip it without gagging, which I know, uh, Jose, you would not, you would have gagged. Um, you would have, th- you would have thrown up. I mean, you would have thrown up. You were like, it's a liquid with regular taste. I can never consume that. Yeah, it was not good. She was right to try to give it away. Um, but I will say my boyfriend who was with us, uh, that feller, uh, actually did enjoy it. Oh, here we go. We've got a, a oh, chat man. from Spicy or Speezy. All he right. says the Baja Blast Hard Mountain Dew was actually pretty decent. It really depends which Speezy that is, because I would I would highly question that. Uh, one of them is addicted to Mountain Dew. So Southern Tear says, "I hear someone is drinking and gaming in here." <laughs> so apparently, um, Southern Tear has, has joined the chat. Oh, hey, Southern Tear. If you could send me a, a keg of your cinnamon roll, that would be much preferred. Hi, you, great drink. There is a beer that tastes like cinnamon roll. It's oh my god! It was amazing. It was so good. It almost disrupted my proposal. That's how good it was. I think I just threw up a little bit in my mouth. Jesus Christ! You really got to get that looked at. You you can't be thrown up for good tasting things. So Flying High says, also, pumpkin is amazing, and so are Mountain Dew Seltzers. Uh, Southern Tier chimes in with, best I can do is cinnamon or roll. One or the Uh, other. I will take just roll, obviously. Uh, We'll we'll chunk them up. We don't have to read every comment as they come. They were relevant to the conversation. Well, yeah, sure. Absolutely. 
Um, oh my god, I'm totally lost. So, Mountain Dew, real quick. Do you guys are you guys for it or against it? Totally not I'm, what I want to talk about, but I'm, I'm, I'm interested. It. As, a, as I, an I'm alcoholic drink. Well, yes, yeah, Jose. We know as a drink, you're against it, but I'm I'm looking for the rest of the people. No, I'm kidding. So, as, a, as a child, as a child, when I was one, I did like Code Red, but I have not had Code Red in many. Why do you pronounce was, it Code Red? Yeah, you do say it weird, like a crazy person. I uh, <laughs> I wasn't allowed to drink Mountain Dew as a kid. I don't like any of. Them. I can't drink any of them, like as an adult, because I wasn't allowed to have them until I was like twelve. What do you say? What do you mean? What? You, th- you threw up for a regular tasting drink. What do you mean? What? <laughs> no, no, I threw up for Sam Adams pumpkin ale. It's a very standard tasting it's beer something. that they have. No, no, but Mountain Dew. It's a rite of passage. <laughs> yeah. In Appalachia. It looks like piss. It tastes like piss. Yeah, sure. Were you, did you drink it as a kid? I mean, who didn't? You didn't, because you're weird. But everyone else did. Was, sure. my, my mama banned it. I just I followed orders. Jose, I, I I think you are overestimating the mandatory nature of Mountain Dew. Yeah, I've never heard. Of, I I do think a lot of kids drank it, and certainly a lot of our viewership would have drank it. But I I don't think it was a mandatory drink by any means. If 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 uh, Jeeves had said I never tasted a Coke, I would be surprised by that. But yeah. Mountain Dew is understandable. I did have it, by the way. I, like, I just had it from time to time and thought it was... It's, it's, a, it's a lot. And if you're not used to... I, we weren't allowed to have caffeine in our house. So oh I would God. only have it outside of the house. Wait, you were you guys oh, Mormons? <laughs> yeah, we were Mormons. I don't know if you guys know that caffeine's a horrible drug for, first of all, anyone. But especially children. Uh, it was a good rule. I totally stand by the rule my mom laid out. <laughs> Uh, but I definitely had Coke and all the, the regular drinks, which, by the way, used to be made with the drug Coke, for the record. She wasn't incorrect. This okay, is a horrible you, drink. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You're accusing Coca-Cola of having cocaine in it, which no, you made it sound like that was a thing it. in That's the 80s. That's what they had. I, I feel a libel. That was one of the ingredients. Away. Yes, it was one of the ingredients in the 1880s. You made it sound like it was an ingredient in the 1980s. I guess just, that, that they reason, they, they had to trip. transition to a taste that was from actual cocaine, the drug. Like they figured it out by putting a shitload of caffeine in it. Yeah, a hundred years ago. It's old news. <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> it's not that crazy of a rule anyway, but I did have it. Uh, I will not I, have you besmirch my beloved Coca Cola. Yeah, that sounds like a man addicted to cocaine. That's what I'm hearing right now. I'm just like, <laughs> how dare you? How dare you attack my liquid cocaine, which is a different drug, which is horrifying. Uh, okay. The show has taken a weird twist. Let's get on the rails, huh? We haven't been hearing from Musselby in a while. Is he there? Yeah, Musselby, yeah. you were born in Soviet Russia. What was the cocaine status there? Hi, there's a lot. Everywhere. But, but what was the Mountain Dew status? Zero. If it didn't okay, have, what was the gene status? If it didn't what, have cocaine, they you, didn't serve it. Smart. What are you? What are you drinking but, tonight? But but? I'm drinking the obviously the OG, the Jack and Coke. Nice. Well, wait, honey Coke? wait, wait a minute. Is with honey, honey with honey. Yes. Honey. Of honey Coke? Oh, that's interesting. I've never had that. It's fucking delicious. I'm gonna have it's, to try it. The drink of it's choice of muscle. You'll puke. <laughs> Uh, uh, keep on talking Honeycoke for a second. I need to gather my thought. I was about to say, Jeeves, the rails? Are we getting back on the rails? No? Okay. Um, <laughs> In a minute. I I will say, uh, with the Mountain Dew talk, uh, I, I'm certain I must have had it at some point, but it was so long ago that I don't really remember at all what it tastes like. I've had hard Mountain Dew seltzer recently, but I, that's, I can't imagine that is that similar. It must be pretty different, so... Um, yeah, I don't feel like I have the Mountain Dew experience, and I don't feel like I need to try it. I know people love that Taco Bell. Was it Baja Blast or whatever? Oh, yeah. Sorry, Boo. What did you mumble into the distance? <laughs> I said, I said Baja Blast. He's a hardcore Baja Blast fan. 
I really do. Aha, boo. Boo blast? I need to boo blast. That word. I don't understand. Wait, someone just joined. That was me. Relax. Oh, oh my God. Why Why do you trail off as you say Baja Blast? I don't understand. He was probably somebody Blast. else. What Blast. time they were going to do dinner. This sounds like you're jerking off. It does. That's not, that was not my intention. Who, are you Baja Blasted right now? <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to okay. Let's get I, it. I, Let's get the shit. I don't want to hear your answer. Let's get back to the. the I know show. you want to. I know you want to get this on the rails, but I just have to interrupt to say that from here on out, I will only okay. refer to masturbation as podcasting. Fair. This moment. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, we haven't we haven't checked in in the sh- with the show in a long time. Uh, it turns out the NFL season is in full swing. I don't know if you guys know this. Uh, the NFL is a foot football league. I think it's pronounced. I think it's pronounced football. Football. Uh, I went to a football game this weekend. Okay. You, okay. Good. Perfect place to start. Go on. Cowboys versus Washington. Uh, I think they're called Commanders. Oh, you went to, you went to an NFL football game. That's exciting. Yeah. Oh, you got to see the Commanders? I did. I did. They I lost. believe that's pronounced Commandeers. So how how was it? Was it a good experience? It was a great experience. Is we that where you had pumpkin beer and threw up? Did not. Did not. Did Sorry. not. They had higher end liqueurs. Ooh. That seems what, unlikely. What, what was your higher end liqueur of choice at the football game? I'm pretty sure I had a tequila sunrise. All right. Uh, amazing. I've been to many football games. That's never been presented to me a single time. I've, I, I don't fairness, know if I would take it or not. Yeah. I have no it's idea. The- did it's you order Optum it? Club. Did someone bring it to you? It's the Optum Club experience. Ooh, so fancy. So fancy. Box seats with restrooms inside the Whoa. little you didn't, have to, you didn't have to pee near the regular people? No, we didn't. We got our own bathrooms. How about okay, that? Okay, I have an important, an important multiple choice question. Go on. So how did you come up on these tickets did you a purchase them with your own money b get invited by some friend or person you know or c was it some kind of corporate your company tickets kind of a deal or d none of the above c because i would never pay any money to go see a football game (laughs) nice you just well yeah i wouldn't either if i had if i was friends with the president or whatever the hell you're dealing with I, yeah, if you can get the dopest ass seats, I also would never pay for anything. Sure, must I be nice. I also saw Jerry Jones from afar. He's oh, really yeah. old and That's the exact correct distance to be from Jerry Jones. Correct. You do not want to be any closer than that. Oh, that's great. That sounds super fun. How about uh, the rest of you? Were you guys all in boxes this weekend, hanging out with the owners of football teams? No, but I watched a lot of football this weekend. I did actually. I did wonder this though. Uh, d- is is football your favorite sport? I have. A, I know the sport? answer to exactly one of you. It, it is not my favorite sport. Okay. Yeah. Let's. I. I shouldn't ask general questions. Uh, Jose, is it your favorite sport? It's not. I know Boo Radley's favorite sport. Uh huh. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's all. I, to be fair, we're men, love, so that's all of our favorite sports. Love those those solo competitions. Uh, what, what's your favorite sport? I don't like sports. It's oh, not a thing that I. What's enjoy. your least? What's your What's your least hated? You, yeah, you must have a favorite, no matter what. What's the one you can tolerate? Wait, stay high. I thought you were on to soccer. What drink, to drink, soccer? drink, <laughs> drink. Or cricket, my, right? Le- cricket curling, curling is the most tolerable. Nice. Great, that's a great sport. Wow. Yeah, cool. 
I don't believe you. I think if we if we dove down into it, that would not end up being your favorite. But I, that's fine. It's a good choice. Uh, close second. Uh, Muscle V, let's go to you next because I know the answer to yours. Baseball all the way, baby. Yeah, the world's worst sport. Absolutely garbage. All You're right. insane. Uh, Pants Man, you're the, I think the next most interesting. What do you? What's your favorite sport? Uh, well, for me, it's definitely hockey. Okay. Oh, the violence, huh? It's not even the violence. Like literally, I think it's the speed because I feel like every other sport, there's a lot of just either standing around or slow movement. I feel like hockey moves quick and it's energetic, and I just that like I I there is really no sport I can just sit and watch, but. That one comes the closest. I mean, if that's if that's all your criteria, why wouldn't you just like sprinting? Well, I, I'll be honest with you. I almost said speed skating. That was the other. <laughs> I love. I don't know what it is. There's something about uh, sports that are on a skate. I like all of them. There is Even no when they're physically on, a on like a, a blade that could slice your throat open. You're in. <sighs> that's it. it. That's what I want to see. Okay. Everything First else is I bullshit. Thought. You're not risking your life every time you try to, to sport. You can even piss if you off. are, even if you are, there's no blades involved. <laughs> Fuck off. All right, love it. All right, how about you, Boo? I think you're probably the most interesting thing. Yeah. So, so for those of you who have met me or have heard of this podcast, you probably will be surprised to know that I know an incredible amount about sports. I follow. Should, almost... should we cover real quick that this isn't a podcast? This is in many forms of media. None of them are podcasts. Oh, did I call it a podcast? Um, I meant the show. The uh, show you can check general. us out on Twitch Live, or you can follow us up on YouTube. <laughs> certainly, certainly, by no means a podcast. We should look into that, though. So, so getting back to my point, I do know an absurd amount about sports, way more than most people should know. But even with that being said, my number one sport, I have to go with baseball. I'm, I'm a baseball purist at heart. Oh, okay, because you That's hate crazy. entertainment. You well, absolutely I, hate entertainment. What's your favorite team, Boo? Uh, the the Baltimore Orioles. I'm not allowed the, to say the... why, but yes, yes, that's the problem. <laughs> I was really uh, hoping you'd say basketball because I feel like then we'd have like the full spread of the major sports. I thought he was I, I mean, MMA. Well, I I think it's it's fun though to if you if you highlight the fact that two of you like baseball because it's the world's worst sport. It makes no sense. Next to football, it makes even less. Sense. How could you possibly like baseball over football? It's crazy. It makes no sense. There's just something about baseball that just draws you in. I don't know what. Yeah, I can it. tell you what it is. It's it. Baseball is a sport that, by definition, is nine on one. No matter how you chunk it up, it's one person versus nine people. Football, which is a dynamic sport, is 11 on 11. There's so much going on no matter what's happening. Baseball, there's almost never anything happening. You could not well, check will, in for hours and nothing would change. I so. will tell you, football is my second favorite sport. Yeah, because you, know, you make no I sense. I didn't know football was played 11 on 11. Now oh, really? I get Seattle Seahawks 12th yeah, man. Yeah, 12th man. I get it now. God, it took me yeah. so long. Well, I'm glad I could illuminate you. Uh, yeah, it's it's eleven on eleven, no matter what the situation is. But the situations are very different in football. It's one of the exciting things about it that's different than literally any other sport. I will you be take, happy to jump in. That situation and... not different because you're still chasing a ball. False. It's not a ball. Objectively it's... false. It's not a it, ball. That's it, true. It's an it is a ball. That's that's if you check the back half of that word football, there is a ball. Absolutely. You're right. You're right. In football, they're chasing an obelisk. Um. It's, it's, <laughs> it's not a, it's not a sphere. I will grant you that, but it is a ball, which of course has got a different definition than than three D circle. But I, I, love I it. was I would like to I would like to to chime in against football because Please. and I know I've I've made this argument before to you and it frustrated you to no end. So I think this could be fun for me. Um, I used to like calling it the line game. Because it was just a bunch of people getting in line. That's most of the game. 90% of the viewing time of the game, it's like 70% commercials, yes. 25% them getting in line, 5% something happened. Well, it's, it's such a frustrating argument because it's like lines are even more crucial to the game than you're like illuminating. Like, 
<laughs> so your 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 counter, your rebuttal is you don't even know how many lines there are. Oh. <laughs> Honest to God, you start the whole point is you start at one line and you have to get to at least a different line. Like best case, you get to a third line. Like that is absolutely the plot oh, of football. Oh, that's uh, not a plot. It's it's it, it's I mean, it's, it's it a cue. It's a cue. <laughs> that's like it. It's it's such a good and bad way to represent football. That's why it's so frustrating because you're like, yeah, yeah, that is part of it. Line line play is so important and integral to football, and the way you're saying it is uh, both dismissive and incorrect and annoying. I have an analogy. I feel like I, feel, I this is for all the nerds out there. I feel like what you're saying, Jeeves, is that I just said all Star Wars is is special effects, and you're like, yeah, that's the point. The special effects. No, it's like it's more dismissive than that. It's like being like, oh yeah, Star Wars is stuff in space, and you're like, yeah, that is literally all it is. There. Now, and I, I mean, the, you go. Please go. I was gonna say, <laughs> please I will, stop me. <laughs> I will say, geez, you always had a winning team in football, and now that your team mm. is complete shit, I feel like you're gonna have a different opinion on that this year. If you don't already, was the winning team the Browns? Because that was never a winning team, guys. No, it's not the Browns. Uh, take a big drink for that. Uh, she, Jose, now, Jose, Jose, he was talking about the three-time Super Bowl champions. Oh my God. The Ready? Pennsylvania stores. Oh. oh, got it. Black oh. and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. <laughs> all, all of you take a drink, not because of your giving away personal information, but because you're all terrible human beings, which is an important role for tonight. And I hate, I hate, the, I'm the one to point this out, but uh, his football team has more than three Super Bowl, uh, Super Bowl rings. That's the, <laughs> that was the I joke. Think the joke. I think um, the joke. <laughs> I, I, it's my favorite thing about your father. I'm just gonna put that out there. I, I also, when you chimed in there, Boo, I was for sure the way you said it. I was for sure you were. Saying, I don't want to be the one to do this, but I gotta go to bed. No, no, <laughs> no, no. Who right, was off on Fridays? I what this is now oh that's exciting maybe we'll make these thursday shows a bit more regular uh actually yeah, not too regular because with... jose has a problem with this being too regular <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's the other podcast expectation the prizes the the boo relationship podcast is that can't be regular this one can be it's totally fine on, on that note about the podcast, when we do the podcast, can we also have cameras on? So you know how what? there's the podcast yeah. and George does the podcast, and it's on YouTube. So when we do the podcast, it should be on YouTube so people can see our facial expressions. <laughs> so, Jose, just to be clear, Jose, you think that our Twitch stream that's supposed to have cameras on us and doesn't, that you want to switch to podcast format, which is not supposed to have cameras, but you'd like to add them. Is that what's happening? Yes. I mean, our, our YouTube stream, which currently exists, should probably also have more footage than we currently have. So fair enough. <laughs> we, we will absolutely consider that going forward if we can figure out how technology works. But Beautiful. back to sports. Uh, why football is the best. It's the most nuanced of all the sports. I think of any sport you can possibly think of. Uh, it's... Hello, hello, hello. Did anyone else think when Ryan said why football is the best? He was drink, drink, drink. Take a drink. Oh, <laughs> Damn it. I had a great joke and I messed it up. Oh, try it again. I'm sure it'll be fun. Did anyone else think when Ask Jeeves said um, <laughs> oh, why football, that he, he was going to read a poem to us? That's what it sounded like to me. It did sound like you had a whole like uh, just literature review ready. For us. <laughs> or maybe a transition you. into the whole fucking game. Maybe. I don't know. It's impossible to say because you guys are great. Uh, <laughs> no. I like passive aggressive Jeeves. This should be your character. <laughs> I think it is. Uh, no. So the whole point of football is that there's different situations. It may be a line or game or not. Who knows? Who, who can be sure? It may be a game of queuing. I, I can't say that for sure, but I can tell you this is that their scoring is vastly different uh, from scenario to scenario. And I don't think you can pick another sport where that's necessarily true. Like I think Quidditch might be, might be that big. Quidditch might be the singular exception, and there's still, you're still only talking about two ways to score, as far as I know. Ball in hoop, and guy catching golden ball that ends the game for no fucking reason. It's an absolute 
mind-boggling sport, but there's still only two ways to score, I believe. I think cricket might be one of those exceptions, too, so... Absolutely not. Cricket is baseball on crack. Uh, cricket is you you have to tag a base. There's only two of them. We've simplified it from baseball. And you can. it's just two guys running back and forth between two bases. There's right. no other way to score. Right? You hit the ball and then you score. The, yeah, that's but there's that that's the way to do it. Right? And with football, you touch down and that's the way to do it. False, right? Well, I mean that's one way to score. There's I think there's also a field goal. Well, I'll get into that in a second. Um well, I would also like to present another sport that is Please. pretty nuanced in its scoring. Uh Baja Blasting has a number of ways to score. <laughs> Well, I know that I know there's the Baja and there's the blasting. What uh, what else am I missing? Because I think I might not be doing it right. You poor sad sap. Uh, how would you? How do you score Baja blasting? It's. I mean, this is a family show. I really can't get into it. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I think we should invest the resident expert, Boo Radley. Yeah. Wait till wait till we've got um, that uh, camera on, and then I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> yeah, I absolutely. I think every, everyone in that, everyone around that's hearing this can agree. Please, please do not turn the camera on to show me how you Baja Blast. Uh, I think the next most nuanced sport after football is basketball, I believe. Because it's got the three and the two? What about, and, and the one. What about, about tennis? Ooh. What about tennis? Yeah. Tennis has exactly one way to score. What do you mean? And it's by 15s of all fucking Yeah, but no, that's what I was going to say. But it's by 15s, not by... I guess, that's, I guess that's more nuanced than baseball's one, where you just touch a random bag what, and you what, get a the, point. What is the point of that? Why, why are you making the math slightly harder? Like, what is... I think it's just to be, because they, they're like, oh, we can do math by 15. We're so fancy. Also, we're, we're like Jose over here drinking Oregon's finest. I think it's um, the exact same thing. T- tennis made me think of this. It's not really a sport, but... Um, uh, uh, do, do not say Baja blasting again, or I'll be mad. No, no. <laughs> I I was gonna say something, but I oh cornhole. I was gonna say cornhole. Oh, okay. Because that's the one. It's treat. weird because you've got to like you you only add up like not all the bags you hit, but like. So not. I don't not know how sport, to. I'm too drunk is, now to is, describe it. There is two ways to get points in cornhole, or you know beanbag toss. I guess if you're a small child. But I like. I agree that it's it's more nuanced than most of the games. Soccer, yeah. you only score by goal. Hockey, you only score by goal. Uh, baseball or or cricket, you only score by touching random spots in a field. Uh, beanbag toss, you do get. There's two ways to get points. You land it on the board or in the hole. Are you a child? Because you you accuse child of calling beanbag toss, and then now that's the only thing you'll call it. Was <laughs> with the amount of uh, Mountain Dew listeners we have on here, I assume that ah. we've got children. <laughs> um, but I think basketball still is the the most next wild way to score. There's three different point systems for basketball, right? You can do the free throw, you can do the regular bucket, or the three the random amount of distance three point line. Pretty no, cool. No. These these are not the reasons why basketball is great. Basketball oh, is great okay. because of LeBron. LeBron okay. equal are basketball. You... Basketball, LeBron. I thought are you were going to say in... basketball is great because they wear shorts. It did seem like you were going that way. Are you you're excited because LeBron negotiated the, what is it, the T-Mobile deal or whatever? Oh, he did? I didn't know that. Oh, it's very exciting. No. He, he talked work. that lady into giving us all all discounts on our, our oh, new that's AT&T. mobiles. You're getting yeah. a, you're getting your brains wrong. AT and T. Yeah, we're we're not sponsored by them, so I don't have to get them right. What yeah, is this deal? I don't know what you're talking about. It's a commercial. <laughs> the, the, we're referencing a commercial. <laughs> but yeah. here's the thing. Here's the thing. LeBron left Cleveland to take his talents to Miami, and he came home with rings. And rings and rings and rings. And he let us borrow one of them. Yeah, he came home. (laughs) He came home with a couple rings, got a new ring, left immediately. 
You know what though? That's how we wanted. That's how we wanted. And, and then he got another. Yeah, but that one was the bubble. It didn't count. Yeah, actually, it's it's almost forgettable that he even got that one. Right. But anyway, uh, I'm I'm glad you got to watch LeBron bring you some hope to your city that you don't this live is, in anymore. This is, by the way, the most I've ever paid attention to sports talk. Yeah, there's been no reason in my life to talk about sports at this length. Well, even better. <laughs> we're we're going to focus on it a little longer because I, got, I started to think about why football is so great. There's so many different reasons, but one of them absolutely is the scoring. In fact, it's, it's arguable how many opportunities there are to score. I came up with six. So, Pants Man, I thought I'd check in with you as our resident uh, sports aficionado. Do yeah. you think you can take a shot at naming what those six opportunities to score in football are? Absolutely. That are I know them. Okay, okay. I'm sure you do. So, uh, there are six different ways to score. Mm -hmm. There's... Uh, You're doing great. The, there's the field goal. That's worth one point. Oh, there's the... Oh, you got part of it. There's the touchdown, which is worth eight points. Okay. There's the uh, dance post-touchdown. Now, that is kind of like um, with, uh, you know, any kind of dancing competition where the points are a little bit subjective, um, awarded by judges, um, usually a celebrity panel. And, um, you know, that's worth anywhere from you know, a thousand to 450 points. Um, and then <laughs> there are I the other three ways. I know ways, you're joking, but I do wish that was part of the game. The other three ways to score um, are all about the players in the bedroom oh. after the game. So Baja Blast is worth two. What's the other two? Uh, well, there's the Baja Freeze, which is where you use ice cubes in your lovemaking. That is going to be worth okay, about I'm gonna stop half because a point. This is, this is a family show. Uh, it, is no, not, by the way. it is absolutely not. By the way, if, you, if you're getting too hammered, it's fine. You just tell your kids to stop listening. Uh, there are six ways to score. You, you named two of them. You assigned their points incorrectly, but that's okay. I'm going to give you a quick refresher. There is the classic six points for a touchdown. That's the king of all points in football, obviously. Who, well, how else could you land on a number other than six? Makes tons of sense. From there, we work backwards. We go to the field goal, which is another one you mentioned. Makes tons of sense. Half that, three points, obviously. What else could it possibly be? So you got the six-three structure like any good sport would have. The next thing you have is the... Uh, I don't even know which one to go with. Let's go with the safety. So you've stopped people in your own end zone... And that is worth exactly a third of a touchdown. So you get two points for that. You also have an opportunity to get two points if you scored a touchdown, naturally. Another way to get two points. You have a third way to get two points, which is if you stop someone from getting an extra point and run all the way back to your end zone, you get two points. And then finally, of course, there's the extra point, which is if you've scored a touchdown, don't want to go for two points, you can easily kick for one point. So the classic one triple two three six structure. Does that make sense? What about now, Jose? Uh, um, is everybody else asleep? Because I'm asleep. Uh, so okay. What about like an, a pick six? That's a that's still six points. Obviously, that's a touchdown yeah. for the defense. Uh, isn't there also Obviously. like a drop kick into the into the field? Like a drop kick field goal? Is that there a... is. That's just it's still just a field goal. It's a special situation. That if only a quarterback can do, but it's still a field goal for three points, obviously. A drop kick. So is there a roundhouse field goal? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but we, we will be talking to the NFL officials to try to get a four point play in. Uh, so you, you guys can see, I think, it, obviously they worked it out. The numbers make tons of sense. A way to get one point, or two, three ways to get two points, one way to get three point, one way to get six points, right? I like the three-way like, part. That's, that's NFL scoring in a nutshell. Yes, you could argue there's nuances, whether or not defenses get a touchdown or whether oh or not God. blah, 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 blah. Yeah, oh. sure. You relax. <laughs> the important point is... We, Sorry, we, that was me Baja blasting. <laughs> I just... For the for the audience, I want everyone to understand this is not just football. I mean, this is 
just NFL football. Other football leagues have different scoring. So I don't want to. Oh, that's to that's really interesting, but not not a worry for tonight. I would also yeah, the, make, like to make it clear to the audience that uh, not only did I absolutely not know most of those scoring <laughs> points, I thought there were two ways to score in football. I didn't even know there were more than two. There are six um, ways to score at least. You also, could argue more. Uh, I still don't know them because you said them in the most boring way possible, and <laughs> yes. I don't have a clue what you said. That the good news is it doesn't matter. So we're going to play our own version of football tonight, and all I that means. Real quick, real quick, I want all the audience to know is that next week I'll be doing the same exact thing with Canadian football, and I promise I will make it more exciting. I promise you won't. So the important thing is that you figured out that there's six, there's six, there's six ways to score, and the magnitude is one, triple, two, three, six. So what I've got for you guys tonight is a number of lists that I've arranged into that same scoring order. And what I'm going to present to you, I'm going to present this to you. I hope this game is so confusing. I hope this game is incredibly confusing. Well, because so it already is. It is. It's interesting. So in our off season, a lot of people came up to me. They're like, love the show. The only thing I wish is that you had more complicated games. And I said, <laughs> I said, you know what? I've got the perfect thing for you. <laughs> We're going to fucking play football first game back. So the only thing that I need to know That's from right. you, Jose, is do you want to play or do you want to be the judge? Do you want to play or do I want to be the what? The judge. So I'm going to let you either uh, join along I'm with the these guys. Judge, there is. I would be Great. the judge. So I'd you're going to be. Gonna be judge. I so love I'm gonna, to judge. I'm going to be presenting a couple lists to these guys. They're going to be ordering them for us, and you're going to decide who has the best list at the end. I'm going to tell them which one has the right list. You're going to say who has the best. And we're going to figure out who overall wins this whole game. You excited? Oh, wait. No, no, no. It's, it's being played right now. I was about to go to bed. No, yeah. It's being played right now. You can't go to bed. You're the people's judge. Were you, were you under the impression were you under the impression this is going to be a cliffhanger and we were going to pick this up tomorrow? <laughs> Yeah, that's no. a ago. When did she think we were playing this game? <laughs> no, we're playing it right oh, now. And you, can't, I, you can't possibly go to bed. I have to go to bed. Virtual. I couldn't possibly play this game right now. I will be the judge, though, in the future. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't worry. I've, I haven't timed it out, but I think it'll be fine. I think it won't be that long of a game. Or it will be very long. Either way, it'll be fun. Might be very long. I think you'll have a good time, uh, Jose. You're sticking around, I think. Good. Wait, on Peter, that note, sure. we should still consider, maybe we should play football or maybe any other, any, any, literally any other sport when we meet up for our vacation. Okay. I did not know where you, I was like, he's got a football-based game right now. What do you want from yeah, him? We're about to play football. <laughs> Uh, I'm excited though. Let's let's play tackle football when we meet up next Jose. That'll be great. Right. Uh, with that, at the very least, I need you to pick the order for how these guys are going to present this game. So you you got Boo, you got Pants Man, you got Muscle V. Which order do you want them to play this in? I think Jose. because of how intense Boo can be, he should go last. Great. Yes. Perfect. Pants Man should go first for the entertainment factor alone. Oh, Keeps yeah. You don't, have to, you don't even have to explain it, but I love that you're doing it. Uh, Muscle goes next. Great. That's Great. right. <laughs> good reason for Boo, good reason for Pants Man, and I guess V is playing too. Muscle V also exists. Perfect. <laughs> Classic PMB. Right, how about this, uh, Jose? You stick around for at least one round. Let's see how we do. See how long it takes. Maybe you can decide from there if you want to leave. How about that? All right. All right, cool. All right, so Pants Man, I'm going to present an item to you. I want you to rank it on a scale from one to six, but of course it's one, triple, two, three, six. So use that. I get as it. The order of magnitude, okay? You ready? I'm ready. I've never been more ready. <laughs> Perfect. I could use a minute. The Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift. Six. Under, like, you can't go higher. Perfect. Muscle V, I go to you next. Where, where do you want to put Tokyo Drift? So six is up is the highest, one is the lowest? I'm not going to specify, but probably. 
that is how numbers work. So I think it's you say just, that. No, but like generally. you'd be like, okay, I want the, the best to be one, right? It's not you golf. Technically, say that, but We're I'll doing tell you, football. I'm not. I haven't given you the criteria. How about that? Okay, let's go with five. Okay, what? that's not a choice. You can what choose you one. Doing? You can choose one, two, three, or six. Three. Okay. <laughs> You're Perfect. so dumb. Can we choose the same number as somebody else? <laughs> yes, you could. You, it'll be fine. <laughs> what? Okay, you can, you can. I don't know where we're playing here. This is dumb. You'll be fine. Uh, uh, all right, Boo. How about you? One, two, um, three, or six. What do you got for Tokyo Drift? I'm I'm gonna give it a field goal. Perfect. So you you and Muscle V are aligned. Muscle V doesn't know what's happening. Sounds good. <laughs> yeah. uh, Jose, you can interrogate throughout, by the way. If you have questions for anyone like Muscle V, why have you chosen the way you live your life? Ask away, but you know, for the most part, we'll check in at the end. Sound good? Muscle V, what do you think is happening? <laughs> We're saying numbers. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> I love you. You could have not been more gracious in just <laughs> elaborating what the fuck this numbering system is, why it is the way it is, what the numbers are you can pick, and then Muscle V goes five. <laughs> Perfect. Pants Man, back uh, to you. Fast and Furious, this is, of course, the fourth movie in the franchise. Wait, time out, time out, time out. Drink. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Time out drink? What, what, what is happening? For, for thunders. Well, why are we drinking? To announce a, no, he was supposed to announce a uh, Toastmaster and he never did. I'm endearing it oh. and making myself Toastmaster. That's, That's a good point. Fair. You have to give a toast then. Okay. My toast is to rules that are so confusing, Muscle V doesn't even know what game we play. That doesn't that mean, mean anything. any game. That doesn't mean anything. Uh, what's not a, a toast. What's the end of the toast? Yeah. <laughs> what's the sign off? Um, to live oh, life like you... <laughs> live, laugh, love. Live, laugh, and love. Black. Right. And I'm to the Indianapolis you're... Colts for just intercepting the ball. To the Colts. <laughs> okay, pants man. Back to you. So three, fast and curious. This is the fourth three, movie. Three. Three. Okay. No, no, I take it back. I want to give that a two. All right. Muscle V? Three. You can't do that. You already gave a three to the Tokyo Drift. <laughs> no, no you, idea how this works. You get several threes. There's different options. You, no! You get, you get one, triple two, Ugh. three, six. That's the scoring system. Yeah, triple two. Okay. Oh, my God. So you want He's to give so it a dumb. two? He's so dumb. <laughs> I'm giving. I'm putting it in the two slot for you. This is the dumbest he's been in a while. This is particularly dumb for you. Uh, Boo, how about you? Fast and Furious, uh, the fourth movie. Extra point. Uh, fair. Okay. Uh, uh, Jose, any questions to any of the guys? Do you want to check in with their their rankings so far? You feel good about them? Yes, Pants Man. Why? Uh, yeah. No, that's a great question. It's a great question. I was going to go three because it felt like a middle road number, but then I remembered it's the second highest, and I've already given away the highest. So I went with the safe choice of the, the twos. It's good. Okay. I was going to say, I'm just going to assume you don't have follow-up questions unless you fire them off right away. Is that fair? I'm good. <laughs> okay, good. All right, so we've done Tokyo Drift, we've done Fast and Furious, the fourth movie. Now, the, uh, a crucial one, Too Fast, Too Furious, Pants Man. Where are you going with that one? That's a one. Okay. Muscle V? Going six. Oh, you've kind of figured out the game. That's exciting. <laughs> uh, boo? Uh, he definitely has not figured out the game if he gave us that one a six. <laughs> um, so... So I'm going to go with, with the good old two-point conversion. Okay. Uh, I will I will say I haven't separated which which ones the twos are, but fair enough. Uh, okay, back to you, Jose. Any any inquiries for the guys? I do. Boo Radley, why? <laughs> well, because it's a, 
terrible so, movie, so and I already and I already gave away my one. But if I could redo it, I would flip flop my order because that is a terrible movie. <laughs> Perfect. I don't think we're ranking movies. I don't think that's what this that's is. That's not what's happening. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I won't specify. Uh, all right. Rolling into... Rolling wait, into wait, wait, wait. If we are ranking movies, it's 90% going to be based on Jeeves's personal opinion, not based on any other metric. Here's the thing. I'm pretty sure we all win the game if we all think the, the rules are different. Like, if we all perceive everything that's going on differently, I think we all win that's not how winning works. Is, is that just is that just the mental state you're talking about, or like? Uh... I love the ideology, but I don't think so. We'll see, though. Yeah. Yeah. To, I don't want to get I don't want to get too philosophical, but I remember being a little kid and thinking, "Oh, I bet heaven is just, like whatever you like. If you're Jewish, your version of heaven is what real heaven is, and if you're Christian, your version of heaven is what real. He and if you're Buddhist, like every religion, whatever your idea of what a heaven would be." then that's probably what it is. And then like a month later, I thought about it again and I was like, well, that doesn't make any sense. You can't all win. Somebody's well, got to lose. And that's well, when I became an atheist. Hey, that's a great segue for Religion with Curtis Shedd, <laughs> our newest podcast. Wow! Greg. Oh, man! <laughs> oh, man! <laughs> Could you just give away his fucking zip code? Jesus Christ. Take, take a couple hearty swigs for that. Let's go. <laughs> first off, first off I, I do love that Beth man texted the group uh, with what time it was. Like, this show yeah. matters. That's, but that's for us. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the thing that that's an Wait, established sorry. part of this. Oh my god! Don't so, worry about it. So I, I'm breaking the fourth wall. Like, no, we, need plow, we need to plow. We need to plow through these last you're breaking the eighth movies. Uh, yeah. Anyway, um, sorry. So in all the, right, in boys. The... I think. I Wait, think no, my no, time you gotta get through. Just, you gotta get through um, the first round. We're almost done. I think this is still the first round. <laughs> oh, I thought. Oh my god. <laughs> so many of these. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, F9. <laughs> Pants man. Uh, that's two. Yeah. Uh, muscle V? One. You're, you're actually doing much better. Boo? That's a touchdown. All right. Uh, Jose, any questions? No. No <laughs> questions. She wants to go to bed so bad. All right, keep it up. Let's go. Fast and Furious 6. Two. Six. Muscle V? Wait, we did that. You, we already did already Fast did... and Furious 6. I did, I did not. No, he didn't. I'm, I'm just reading. Uh, you already did a six, though, Muscle V. So you're going to have to choose. Uh, you actually just can choose a two. So would you like to choose two or two? Um, two. Great. <laughs> Boo? What do I have left? You have a two and a two. Uh, two. Great. Good choice. <laughs> Final round. <laughs> I really didn't think of that part. Uh, yeah. the the final round is Furious Seven. So three, it's man. You get a three. Muscle V, you get a two. Boo, you get a two. Surprise. Yep. So Jose, before you you sign off and go to bed, I'm gonna read out these the order of movies for you. So Pants Man shows two is his worst movie. Uh, Fast and Furious Six is his second movie. Fast Nine. The fourth movie, the seventh movie, oh and God. then Tokyo Drift is his favorite movie. Does that make sense? No. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is the you just said, this makes you just any said sense. one is two and three is four. Like it was a nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can read out the full titles if you need to. <laughs> First of all, uh, Jose, have you watched all of these movies? I think I might have seen two. Wow. Too fast, okay. too furious, or use two of the two movies? of the two of the thirty thousand. There's only <laughs> there's only been eleven movies. There've been eleven movies. I th I think Dear I didn't God. check them all. Oh, okay. In that case, just pick who you. I don't. I don't have to recap them for you. Just pick who you liked the best. Off of, based on what. Her Doesn't matter. <laughs> I think I liked Muscle V's answers the best because they were clueless and innocent and so. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome, world. It's a great way. 
It's a great way to describe Dixie as clueless and innocent. Yeah, yeah, but, I think that's. But I totally I don't. I'll be honest with you guys. I don't think he's ever Baja blasted. <laughs> I don't think he knows how. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, all right, so you go with Musabe. Th- thank you. Uh, Jose, you can you can feel free to hop off. I think that's probably fair. You've been thank great. You, thank You've you been a great sport. for having me. It's been a pleasure. We can't, we can't wait to see you in our future podcast, which is not this sh- own show. That's right. The romantic life of no, boo, boo. Um... They're workshopping it, huh? <laughs> yeah, we're workshopping. Hey, boo. Hey, boo. Hey, Don't boo. I do like that. I love it. Oh, that's a good one. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Adios. Bye. A Vita's day. All right. So I really quickly did uh, calculate it. That first round was quality of Fast and Furious movie, a pretty easy topic. You guys did horrible. Pants Man, you're the one who got two. The other two of you got one. So, so far, you've won round one. You got... So the correct order for Fast and Furious movies that I presented to you, Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift is the worst. It only gets a, an extra point. Fast and Furious, the fourth movie, is a two. Two Fast and Furious, also a two. Fast 9, which I haven't seen, is probably garbage, is a two. Fast and Furious 6, pretty good. It gets a three. Furious 7 is far better than the rest of them. It gets a six. Okay? And okay, you okay. say I won? You won, yeah, because you got no, two I of didn't. them the correct. You got two of them Jose the correct has d- deemed Muscle V a winner. What are you trying to steal his win for? Well, so she he gets he gets the People's Champ Award. <laughs> <laughs> um, I also want to point out, Jeeves didn't watch all the movies. So, again, that's it's true. Very, very skewed data. Well, how many more? Work. How many more rounds of this is there? I prepared at least. I prepared five. We'll see how okay. we do. Uh, Open it a beer. Well, Jesus, it's, it's like time already. So, uh, let's see what time. Is. Ah, we can do at least a couple more. Uh, we'll go quicker. It'll be fine. Uh, right. Now we know. <laughs> yeah, you guys got the format. We're not here to see what Jose's got to think about it. We're, we'll move some quick, probably, maybe. Are right, you ready? Yes. I will say the criteria is different. So the criteria for that last one was quality of Fast and Furious movie, okay? Great. All right. Pants Man? Do it. Random. Oh, that's a, that's a, I'll give it a two. Okay. Uh, Muscle V? Pomegranate. Three. Uh, you gave a three? You Correct. said kind of sadly? No, I didn't say sadly. I said a three. Normally. Okay. You said it very sadly. You I think you said it off mic. You lamented a three. Yes. Boo? Pomegranate. Um, I'm also going to give it a dose. Copycat. Okay. Uh, next, orange. That's a... I'm, a I, I'm, I'm afraid to give it the top not, so I'm going to give it a three. Okay. I'm that six. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Boo. Um, ditto everything Pants Man said, and I'm gonna give it a <laughs> I was I was in for the first round. I'm more mad that you're just yes ending. Uh, I, well, okay. can I just say that's actually kind of a brilliant move because if you know, like, if we just all copied each other, it would be a utopian society. Yeah, lame. Uh, plus, <laughs> you've already got a win, so fair enough. Uh, okay, next, Kiwi. Oh, I, I do like it, but I'm gonna give it a I'm gonna give it a I'm gonna give it a two. Uh muscle V? Two as well. Uh boo. Fuck it, man. Let's go. Let's go touchdown. Touchdown, okay. Great. That's a bold move for a Kiwi. That is a bold move. Alright. M- Pants man, back to you. Honeydew. Ah, one. Uno. Uno. Boo? I'm going to give it a two point conversion. Great. Uh, all right. I like that you only sometimes use the actual football reference. I know. It <laughs> if it was a consistent tough. thing you're doing, it'd be kind of fun, but you just occasionally throw down some random ass shit. Tough to adjust. I'm not going to lie. All right. Anyway, uh, Pantsman, Apple. 
Now it's a six. We got a six here. Last of it. Two. Uh, boo. I'm going to go for a safety. All right. <laughs> And that leaves you guys all with a pineapple. So, Pantsman, you get Shit. that at a two. Oh, I would love to have given that a six, but okay. Uh, Muscle V, you get it at a two. And Boo, you get it at a one. So you were very yeah, generous. Not, not happy Not happy about that, but whatever. Uh, Pantsman, what do you think the criteria was for this round? You know what? Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say the criteria was spikiness of fruit. Okay. The criteria was actually amount of work plus the taste. So it was how good it was plus how much of work it was to do. So the correct order was honeydew, kiwi, orange, pomegranate, pineapple, apple. Of course, being the best, all you have to do is run out of some water. Uh, Pantsman, you actually got four in the correct order. Congratulations. Uh, can I just stop and say, Apple, yeah, you probably should run out of the water, but you can skip it. It'll be you fine. Can skip You're it. not going to die. Worst case, you could skip it. Yeah, true. I'm not going to kill point. you the first time. A good point. <laughs> so so far you're dominating. Two out of nice. five. We're gonna this roll right into sports. that. This is why I'm a sports guy. <laughs> Perfect. All right, you've got the format. You're dominating. You're you ready? You ready for round three? I'm ready. Go. Do micro bre- micro Hurry. breweries. That's the thing I'm ranking. Yes. Okay. Six. Let's let's hope we've all heard. Did you say six? I'm sorry. I didn't. Six. Okay. Uh, muscle V. Uh, six. Uh, boo. Okay. Wait, I'm sorry. I need to hear what you said. You're completely off mic. Uh, Mike, microbreweries. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh, I'm gonna go field goal. Okay. Uh, back to you, pants man. Farmers market. Honestly, one. All right. I'm going to go two. Okay. Uh, Boo? I'm going to go blocked extra point for a conversion. Two points. That was super confusing way to say that. Perfect. Uh, Pantsman, back to you. Yoga. I'm going to give it two. I'm going to give it a one. Uh, Boo? I'm also going to give it a Uno. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Pants Man. Dogs in bars. Two. Okay. Two. <laughs> the boo's locked in. Uh, okay. Um, oh, it's my turn, right? Yep. You said okay. That's I'm... why I thought you knew. Oh, yeah. It's Brad. That's so goddamn it. Trick. 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 The first, I think the first self-spoil. Tonight. Um, I'm going to also give it a safety. Okay. Uh, okay. The phrase, live, laugh, love, Pants Man. Yes. I, that should be a, a fr- one. A phrase, a, phrase, a phrase somehow you use tonight. <laughs> <laughs> should be a one, but I have to give it a two. Okay. Two. Uh, good. Uh, boo? So as our listeners already know, I love a good corny phrase. So you I'm live, laugh, that, love a good corny phrase. I'm going to give that a pick six. Oh, great. So a six, just for the record. Yes. Okay, great. Uh, that leaves you, Pants Man, with Pumpkin Spice at three. Yes. Fuck, 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 yes. That's a Muscle. three. That should be a six, but I'm happy with three. Muscle V, that also leaves you with Pumpkin Spice at three. And Boo, you get Pumpkin Spice at two. Muscle okay, V, can I guess what? Oh, I want to guess. V okay, can, can guess, guess first, but I want to guess two. You can guess. I don't, I don't think V's going to get v, it. Muscle V, can you go first? Can I guess what? <laughs> Perfect. That's honestly that's all we needed from you. Okay. Uh I, I would like to guess that this is uh the ranking what a suburban mom, aka Lil Fuse, would prefer what she likes to do all day every day. 
you're pretty close. This is how much white people like shit. So you're pretty close. Uh, actually, Lil Fuse had some contention with with one of the order, but the correct order was bringing dogs in bars. Is actually, only a one. Shockingly, live, laugh, love. The phrase is two. Yoga is two. Farmers markets are two. Microbreweries are three. And white people fucking love pumpkin spice. Yeah, we which, do. Which means that. Boo actually won that round with three correct answers. I wasn't Uh-oh. excited about winning. I was excited about pumpkin spice because <laughs> I am a white person. You're hella white, of course. Bye bye, Booey. All right. I think we're rolling. I think we're doing good. I think we can we can get through the next couple pretty quick. The yeah, question yeah. is, the question is, and I'm actually I actually really love this game. This is a great game. Thank um you. uh the question is by round five or whatever the last round is. Will Muscle V understand what's happening? I don't think so. Um, I already got <laughs> especially, the especially especially after this round. It's gonna be, it's gonna be all he's fun. figured out so far is numbers and what they are. That's it. That's all he's got. Okay, I got the people's Look, elbow I, award. I'm good. I, I, have, I have to win this round, so I'm tied with uh, Panther. You guys are either gonna love or hate this round. I'll tell you this. Oh, that's okay. true. That's true. Um, well, so so you both have one point if you count uh, Jose's point to muscle v i've got two points so if i win this round it kind of doesn't matter we don't have to do the last round because i've already won that's, that's what correct. i decided that's I've, I've, pre- I've prepared enough rounds that we can keep going we'll see all right we'll all see. right go ahead go ahead oh, all right are you ready pants bam I'm, i've been ready do it do the thing the f- do it the phrase do it the phrase is that it that's the thing the uh-huh. phrase the phrase Two. All right. One. What the fuck? Boo? Uh, I'm I, I'm gonna go safety for this. I'm very nervous about this round. I'm gonna go safety. Perfect. Uh, Can I say but... when you started this, I thought this is the worst, dumbest, most inane thing you've ever come up with. And I'm on the edge of my seat right now. What the fuck could the phrase be? I don't know. I'm so excited. Go ahead. The game. That's a six. I will say six as well. Okay, boo. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Quarterback throws the ball. Other team intercepts it. Brings it down to the 20. Three it out. Field goal. Uh, Okay. (laughs) Great. (laughs) Um, The character. Two. Two as well. Are you just saying whatever he says? No, my uh, first answer was different. That's fine. I, it was technically different. Uh, Bill? If, if oh. my theory is right, if my theory is right, I'm going to go touchdown. Okay, uh, you guys, okay. you, we've got to interrupt. We've got to, we've got to pause the game because uh, here's what happened. I, I bolstered by this ridiculous game and it's confusing turn with this new round that I don't understand. I'm so excited about not really knowing what's happening and it seems exciting and fun. I'm very into it. Also, this is my fourth beer. So I'm real hyped. And I did this thing where I decided I've got this kind of wall that kind of has an overhang kind of a deal. Okay. And what I did was I kind of jumped up to hit the overhang. I kind of did one of them jumps to like hit the thing, to like to basically hit a wall. Jumped up to hit it. But I was holding my beer and I spilled it everywhere. Oh, beer fountain. So I just needed to interrupt to say like, that's where I'm at. What's the next weird thing you're going to say? Drink, drink to your nonsense. I love it. All right. Uh, anyway, my nonsense is the film. Three. Two. Uh, safety. Perfect. All right, you ready? Pants Man, second to last round. Go. Th- the Village. One. Two. Extra point. And that leaves, of course, the song. So, Pants Man, you get two for that. Muscle V, you get a two for that as well. And Boo, you also get a two for that. 
which interestingly enough, I believe ties this up with Muscle V oh. and Boo getting a point because you only Whoa. got one correct. Uh, Boo, would you like to guess what this criteria for this one is? Um, I was going to say parts of a story. Okay, incorrect. Uh, the criteria for this one was funness of things named bingo. So, so one point for the song, one point, two points for the game, two points for the village, which is a town in Maine, two points for the film, which is a 2012 Japanese horror film, two, three points for the character in Bluey, and six points for the phrase. Super fun to say bingo. Extra fun if you say bingo afterwards. Uh, okay, that that was a weird bananas. one. Bananas. Bananas. Yeah. Um, but that wait, was wait, a weird wait. one. No, so wait. You're saying that the way the score is ended, I got zero points because the other two tied. You got in. You got none of them correct. Um, oh. And Muscle V and Boo got one correct each. Wow. So the score we is- did terrible that round. You guys did terrible. That's amazing. Score- That's actually really uh, stunning because. The, the, each of us got to pick three that would be equal points, like equal weight, and somehow yeah. we still only got a- average incredible. less than one per person. Truly shocking. So wait, there's two, two, two going to round five. Uh, round four, I believe. No, it's round five. One, well, you did Fast and Furious. You've done Fruits. And you just did white people stuff. Yeah, you're right. Round five. Can I can I just jump in real quick to say that uh, the list, the very careful listener at home, will be able to pause this, reverse, listen again. They'll be able to really investigate this. I trust that you're telling us the truth, but it does feel like manufactured drama that we went from a situation where I was about to just win outright to a situation where the three of us are tied. I'm, I, so I'll tell you this I'm 100% sure you got none, right? I, Muscle V might have got two. I think he only got one. That's the only difference <laughs> between my score. All right, let's go into round five. I'll tie it Boom. up. Ready for, ready this for is it. the most dramatic round we've ever experienced. I, it's going to get weird. I'm not going to lie. Lion's Den. Two. Two. I, I gotta I gotta agree with everyone. I gotta go with the safety. Wow. What a coward. An entertainer. Three. Two. I I gotta go touchdown. Yeah, what if you said stripper next and you're fucked? <laughs> I hope the next thing's stripper. A kitchen remodeler. Three. No, I did three. Uh, yeah. Six. One. Yeah, extra point. A metaphysical supply store. One. Two. A field goal. Oh, sorry. Okay. A gift shop. I think I have to go two. Three. Yeah, I, I have to go two, two, so I'll go at safety. You do, you do have to go two. Uh, which, Pants Man, that leaves you with an adult bookstore at two. Ah, oh, I wish it was a six. Uh, must be get that for a six. Minus. Ah, fuck. <laughs> uh, and Boo, you get that for a two. I just yep. have to hope that whatever this theme is uh, was scored incorrectly, so that that six for V doesn't doesn't win <laughs> the game. So, do you want to guess what the criteria for this round was, Pantsman? Uh I think it's thing you Baha Blast to. <laughs> so no, actually. This is places with four and a half stars and how many miles they are away from my house. What? Hey, that <laughs> what are you really... talking about? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> so I rounded it off, but like, so if it was 6.7 miles away, I called it a six. Uh, and in this case, that would have been 
a really well-rated gift shop. Uh, but in this case, it was one, one mile away is a, a four and a half star kitchen remodeler. Two is an entertainer, a, a lion's den, and whatever the fuck a metaphysical supply store is. Three miles away, I've got a really lovely adult bookstore. I don't know what that means. And six miles away is an incredible gift shop. Okay. Muscle Two. V got wait, four wait, of wait, those wait. correct. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> yes, I did. Wait, wait, wait. Yes, I did. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, I need to interject here. That's fine. I don't care about the scoring. Um, you said two things that are confusing me. One is you said sure. adult bookstore, whatever that is. You know what that is, right? Please you tell are, me you know, know what that is. Well, I know I know what a lion's den is, obviously, which is unfortunate that it's two miles away from my house. Very disappointing thing to find out. Also, the fact that it's four and a half stars rating is very disappointing. Um, I mean, you don't want a two star one near your house, do you? I don't, I don't think I want like a five star one either, though. Here's a question. Uh, you said metaphysical bookstore. Was that uh, metaphysical, the thing you were... metaphysical metaphysical supply store? <laughs> but that's not because immediately after that you said lion's den. You, you're not saying the lion's den was the metaphysical bookstore because that's also no, an I... adult bookstore. No, no, Lion's Den, I said first. Lion's Den is two miles away, and also two miles away is a metaphysical supply store. Those are different places. Okay, because no, Lion's no Den idea. is... I've never been to a, a, a Lion's Den. I've been to a sex shop. I've done that. Was it metaphysical? Honestly, no. Uh, all right, anyway, must be you dominated. You only missed two of them, so well done. This is classic me. This is this is so classic Muscle V. He starts having not a fucking clue what's going on, and more importantly, not caring, not having an ounce of interest in what's going on. And then by the end of this thing, he's destroying. He's the best at it that there ever was. And still no ounce of interest. <laughs> exactly. I will say, I do think it would have been better if... Um, Jose stayed on because I would have loved to get her opinion. On I would have as well. All right. Anyway, and, we got one last. We got one last round. I think muscleby has got a chance to tie it up. Is that right? Or wait, I, do have, I, I do have a genuine well, he, question because it, it, uh, it just occurred to me that I don't understand. So, um, time out, time out, time out. The Indianapolis Colts just beat the Denver Broncos. Nobody cares. Um, no, I, I am curious. So, what was how? What what was the score you're saying? The the, the the winner was like how far away they were? Like a six mile versus a two mile versus a three mile? Is that what it was? Yes, yes. If it was four it. and a half okay. stars just, and how many miles away it was. I realized at the end I didn't understand how you ranked them, <laughs> but got it. Okay, good. I used Google Maps. Cool. It's actually so, very difficult to figure that one out. Fi final. So the, so you you want to do a final round to see if Musselby gets to retain his his crown yes. or if he gets. Um, ousted with a, a tie? I think so. I believe so. Wow. That's a weird thing to do. I don't understand it, especially this late in the game. We could just stop and let him win. Well, I prepared it, so that helps. All right, let's do it. I don't want him to win. I would like to tie him. So let's go. A hooker. Six. Three. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go... Don't deny your go, truth. I'm going to go two point conversion. Don't deny your truth. She's a six for you. No, a, not ta a tailor. Oh, that's a that's a two. <laughs> two. Yeah, I'm I'm a team player. I'm going to go two. Okay. A butler. <laughs> oh, that's a three. Two. Yeah, this is my new approach to getting rid of all of my twos, so I'm going to go two. All right. A farmer. One. 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 A witcher. I don't know what that is, but I have to go two. I think I have one two left, so I'm going to use that. You do have one two left. Good work. Boo. I'm going to go field goal. And that leaves you with a boozer. So uh, you get a two for that pants man. And muscle V, you get a six for that. And boo, you get a six for that as well. 
Boo. Yeah, boo. You you should know this one. I feel like obviously after six of these, you should know what I did here. Well, how did we rank this one? Um, your favorite characters in the board game of Life. <laughs> no part of that works. I wish. Uh, no, obviously this is we, this is a football show tonight. So I did the 1972 receiving touchdowns for six different gentlemen. Oh, so obviously, cool. obviously with one touchdown it was the 49ers Dick Witcher. Uh, two touchdowns the Bears George Farmer. Two touchdowns the Browns Fair Hooker real name, whatever. Uh, two touchdowns was the Saints Bill Butler. He lasted two seasons. Three touchdowns, of course, was Emerson Boozer from the Jets. And six touchdowns his whole career. He was a chief. Otis Taylor. I know uh, I did poorly. Uh, Boo was the only one who did well. He got two. Muscle V got one. Pantsman, you did horrible. You got zero. I, 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 I could tell when you were recapping. I was like, I remember what I, I, remember what I voted. I'm, I've sobered up a little bit. So so wait, did I? am I tied with Pantsman and, and Muscle V? No. Or am I tied no, with no, Muscle V. Pantsman lost. <laughs> Yeah, Pants Band objectively lost. I was doing so well at the beginning. Okay. You started off so 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 nice, and then there's. But you know what? I shit. will say this. I will say this. Uh, if I had to lose, I'm glad to lose and have two people fighting each other for top spot rather than just letting Muscle V win. Okay, are we done with this? At the end of the day, now? you're glad that the guy who doesn't know what just happened won. I think we can all agree. I think we're all. This went well. And I bet he didn't win. No, must have been one. I'm just glad the game. I thought, no, I thought, no, I thought, I thought I, they tied. They just yeah, tied. I, we both have three wins. No. Oh no! Did you guys? Yeah. That was the whole thing. We were saying that yeah. either we're going to tie or he's going to win. That was the whole yeah. thing we were doing just now. I didn't count them all up. I was having a hard <laughs> time tracking all these things. Dude, well, yeah. and I will say, I will say, if we really have to think about it, technically, Muscle V and Boo are tied, but. By the if we take away the People's Choice Award, which is just Jose declaring randomly that Muscle V gets a point, and I also think did, did not know what was going on. I think Boo actually is our winner. Ooh! If, I mean, if it's a if tie had... and you've got to compare the points that you won, yeah, there were fair and square wins, and there was one kind of thumb on the scale. And I think I think we got I think we got to give it to Boo. What? Who's and the czar? Worst, case, Who's worst case, one person was being a Debbie Downer. He gets a minus one worst case. Boo, congratulations. Well done, buddy. New czar. Thank you. Thank you. And this also means that Boo has to show up for the next time we do this. <laughs> right. Uh, we've definitely gone way long. Let's go on and, and check in with everyone and get the fuck on out of here. Muscle V, what do you got for us tonight? Uh, nothing. <laughs> Sounds right. Pants Man, what do you have? We did it. We're back. We're doing it. It's happening. All right. What would Boo say? Oh, wait. He's here. Never mind. Sorry. Boo, what would you say? Oh, I don't know. I just think that, you know, it's, it's, it's good to be back. And I, I, I'm here. Uh, what I was going to say is, is why Boo late when you can Boo real? I, I literally didn't hear a difference between either one of you. Anyway, <laughs> I appreciate all of you for sticking around with us tonight. I hope you had a lot of fun. We, we're back. Season three is in full effect. Everyone loves the games that are happening. We'll catch you hopefully next week. Who knows? Maybe it'll be two months from now. But if not, we want to remind you that one triple two three six is a totally normal scoring system. I encourage you to use it in any one of your life situations. Until then, God Daddy's out.